Hey YouTube, this is Southern Pepper One. I want to continue on the uh, squat or group attack. Very important. This is a basic battle drill that we need to get down. There's a lot of options that I have not covered. Uh, the options I have covered are you meet the enemy, you suppress the enemy, one team flanks either right or flanks left to outmaneuver and to uh, f finish off the enemy. That's one. Uh, another one that can be here is we're moving through the woods and traveling overwatch so you have about 50 meters between your first team and your squad leader you're traveling and you take fire so you know immediately what you're going to do the lead team is going to get down get online and suppress the enemy you do not have to flank there's another option this team back here if you want to bring them forward you can bring them forward if you're the squad leader let's say you took contact with one individual, two individuals, and you know they are going to leave as quickly. They're not going to mess with you. Uh, they might have fired a round or two just to put you on the ground so they can get out of the way. If you go ahead and set your base of fire, figure out you're going to flank left or right, whoever it is is going to be long gone. So you're going to make an immediate judgment call and say, hey, we need to take these guys or we need to press the fight to them before they can escape. You're immediately going to bring this other fire team up. Bring the fire team up, position them online with your other guys, and you got a squad leader. Now, what you can do is en masse get up and move forward. So you're going to get up and, and, and move quickly across the engagement area. Um, it's dangerous, but it's very quick. If you want to grab somebody or snatch somebody, this is how you're going to have to do it, because if not, he's going to be long gone. Um, if while you're moving forward, you take fire, you'll have to get down. Um, if, you, if you're really close with the enemy, uh, you might just be able to engage him and keep moving. So, we want to catch this guy for sure. We quickly bring our other team up line, we immediately get up, everybody's up, everybody's ready to fire, and they're moving quickly across the engagement area trying to catch this guy. This is another option. You can assault, if there's a little position there, you can assault this way. There's no set way of doing anything on, the, on this battle drill. There's recommendations, but you have to develop yourself as a leader and know which, which way of doing it for the best results. If you're successful, you get pats on the back. If you're not successful, you get hollered at because, hey, somebody got hurt or worse killed. So being a leader of the infantry is very hard. You're going you're gonna to have to make really quick decisions, and uh, it's hard to know which way to do it. Another option, put both teams online and assault through. All right. Another option, we do not want to flank. We take contact with the enemy, we get down online, we try to suppress the enemy. We can then bring the other team forward, put them online. So we have two fire teams and a squad leader. The squad leader is trying to direct it. What you're going to do is you want to bound forward. You could bound this whole squad forward. These guys will fire while these guys move. So what's going to happen is all four of these guys will move forward. While they're moving forward, your other team is firing at the enemy. When they get set, they're going to start firing. As soon as they start firing, this team is going to bound forward. And what you can do is you can rapidly close with the enemy without flanking him. Um, you just keep bounding forward until you get within the enemy and then you try to finish the enemy off. This is an option. Alright, this is a good option if the enemy isn't returning a lot of fire at you. Because you have four men shooting, four men moving. Use that if the enemy is not really returning much fire. Uh, another option. You have your four men online, original four men. They took contact, they got down, they're suppressing. Bring your other four guys up. Now, the enemy's returning more fire than you really want. So you don't want to bound a whole team up because you need additional men firing at the enemy. So go ahead, bound two guys up. While they're bounding up, you have six rifles in the fight shooting at the bad guys. As soon as these guys bound forward, they get in a position, they start shooting at the enemy. And these four guys are still shooting at the enemy. These guys will go ahead and bound up. 
As soon as these guys are up, you got these four shooting, and a buddy team over here bounds forward. These guys bound forward. Then these guys bound forward. What you're doing is you're getting, you're keeping six rifles in the fight and only two bounders. This is if you're taking a little bit more fire than you want. So that's an option. You keep closing with the enemy and, and you take the enemy out. So let's go over our options. We hit the enemy. You have two teams of guys. Suppress. You could flank right. You could also, if you wanted to, either flank left. Either way you can flank. Depends on the terrain. Remember that. Or you have another option. You can bring this team up here, put them online, and get up and everybody assault through the, uh, the objective. This is very quick to try to ca capture somebody. Or it might not be an enemy combative you saw. It, it might be somebody in your area that's doing something you don't want them to do and you want to capture them. This is a very good thing, moving this team forward and rapidly moving and trying to catch them. Now, when you get here, you can go online, or if you want to assault, you can bound by fire teams. These guys fire, these guys bound. As soon as they get there, they start firing. There's no signal, really, because you hear your buddy shooting, that means, hey, i got to move quickly, because he's going to run out of ammo. Then he bounces forward. So there's many options. Flank right, flank left, flank right. Move forward with two teams, bound them by teams, or bound them by buddy teams. I, I hope I didn't confuse you. I went over this pretty quick. Uh, there's still some more options we have, but I want you to uh, think about this option. I appreciate your time and watching. Uh, if you're confused, send me a message, and I will re-clarify this video. Thanks a lot.